But Donald Trump, him, we are... He was very busy at the White House today. He had a big surprise for everyone. <laughs> so this really, this just happened. I'll try to summarize. South Korean officials delivered a letter today from Kim Jong-un, the leader of North Korea, to Donald Trump, inviting him to meet and promising to halt his missile test. So the North Korean leader extended an olive branch to Donald Trump, which is a big deal because olive branches are really the only thing they have to eat there. So <laughs> the president was very excited about this, so excited, in fact, he went into the White House press room where he'd never gone before to tell reporters off the record. And they're like, no, we can't do it off the record. <laughs> We're in the press room. And it, then, so then he announced that there would be a major announcement without even telling his own staff there was going to be an announcement. They were caught off guard again. It really is something. It's like the uncle you know will blow a surprise party if you tell him about it. <laughs> so everybody just keeps it quiet until... But here was the announcement from the South Korean National Security Advisor. I'd like to thank President Trump, the vice president, and his wonderful national security team, including my close friend, General McMaster. I explained to President Trump that his leadership and his maximum pressure policy, together with international solidarity, brought us to this juncture. I expressed President Moon Jae-in's personal gratitude for President Trump's leadership. OK, that's good. That is a good start, because Flattery will get you everywhere with the president. <laughs> president Trump appreciated the briefing and said he would meet Kim Jong-un by May. By May? <laughs> He's not still going to be president by May. We need to get that. We need, this needs to happen by Wednesday. So this is big. Imagine Kim Jong-un meeting Donald Trump, just the, the two worst haircuts in the world together. <laughs> I wonder if they'll invite Dennis Rodman. He is a mutual friend. And you know those two are going to hit it off. You know he, Trump comes out of this saying, Kim Jong-un, very bright guy. We like each other a lot. <laughs> they'll be golfing together. They'll be sharing a bucket of chicken. Maybe Kim Jong-un will be the next host of Celebrity Apprentice. Who knows <laughs> where this could lead? But it's never dull. It's never dull. There was some other interesting news from North Korea today. Their state-run TV is launching a bunch of new soap operas. I always get nervous when I hear North Korea is launching, but this one... <laughs> the soap operas will reportedly explore themes of patriotism and loyalty in times of war. I think they're doing this backwards, because first, maybe get some electricity, then you move on to the soap operas. <laughs> Otherwise, the audience is limited. But some of their soap operas have a familiar, a very American ring to them. These are... Uh, the titles, Miserable Days of Our Lives, <laughs> One Life to Not Live, <laughs> General Hospital with Insufficient Resources. <laughs> they even have a version of a popular American sitcom over there. I don't know if you've seen this. It's uh, Two and a Half Rod Men. But... <laughs> if you like that video, click subscribe, and we'll be together until one of us dies.